Welcome to the Believers Community Call of Faith. I am Vincent. Wherever you are, good afternoon or good morning. It depends on where you are watching. But we thank God who has blessed us with such a wonderful life. And he has blessed us with his word. And the, the point is, use the word of God to develop your faith. And then after you have developed your faith, perform, grow, progress. And after you have progressed, the word of God will cause the purpose of God in you and me to come to pass. So the believers community call of faith is to call you to faith, to use your faith to be able to deliver your purpose on this planet. If you have a purpose, if you have a vision, there is something in you which you want to bring up. And if you have, you have come to a point of knowing that you have a purpose on this planet, then you must do whatever it takes to see that you complete, you fulfill your purpose on this planet. And this is what the Believers Community Call of Faith, the program, that's what I am intending to do to myself and to do it to you. And I thank God for your life and for my life. And we thank God who has given us the word. God has trusted us with his word. That with his word, we can cause all his plan to come to pass on this world, on this planet where God has trusted us and he has left us. Jesus Christ, when he was going back, he said, I'm leaving you with the power and authority has been given to me, but I am also leaving with you the power and authority. And he says, occupy till I come, because the king went. And then the same king will come. And when he comes, he will demand accountability from the servants he left. And the servant he left us. And he left us with his word, which is the equipment, all the things Jesus Christ wanted you to do and all his plan in your life, God has made a way. He has provided the most wonderful tool, the equipment, the service. All the things you need are in this word. So God has made it for you. So you have no excuse. And then this will stop the saying of, you know, when people start saying that all oh, those days, the church of those days, the church of those days, you were not called for the church of those days. You were called for the church of this day. This is the church. So we were called for such a time like this. This is our season. This is the time we are called to perform. Hallelujah. So I welcome you to the Believers Call Community Call of Faith. And we are going to study the word today. We're going to pray. And we're going to study the word of today. And I'll tell you the subject after we have finished prayer. And I thank God that you are there whenever you are watching. Wherever many years to come, the word has never lost power. And allow the word to work mightily in your life. As I do, I ask the Lord, let the word work mightily in my life. Because the word causes everything I need to come to pass. So that's why we're going to the word tonight. And uh, we thank God that God has made a way for us to, to share the word wherever you, we are uh, in a simplistic way and uh, in a format or in a mean, by the means which are accessible and can be uh, made easy, clear to everyone who can who is willing to suck the word. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we come to pray. We come to ask you, Father, through the mighty name of Jesus this afternoon to bless us with the spirit of understanding. Let the word we're going to teach, we're going to share this afternoon, let it bring understanding. Let the word bring dominion. We thank you for the anointing upon this area, upon now, upon the, the place where that person is, upon my life. We thank you, Father. Let this anointing circulate the word. Let this anointing divide the word wonderfully. 
We pray that Holy Spirit, let anyone who listen to this word today or in other years to come, let them be blessed by the word and let the word cause their lives to change, to be transformed. And I pray in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, think through my, my, my mind and speak through my mouth. Let the word have dominion over every circumstances. Let the word have dominion over the environment. Let the word have dominion over the surroundings. Let the word have dominion over the sicknesses. And as we study the word tonight, let miracle signs and wonder come to pass. And I pray, Father, this one personally in the name of Jesus, let the word touch someone's life when they are watching today or in years to come. Let the word never lose power as we share it. Holy Spirit, I welcome you. Do wonders, do miracle signs and wonder on this broadcast. Empower this broadcast. Let every believer, wherever they are, let this big community, huge community of believers, let them be called to faith, to use their faith on this day in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. It's a Friday in the month of June, in the year of our Lord, 2022. And we bless God and I also bless God. Now let us go into the, the subject which we are going to look at tonight in the name of Jesus. And this is a wonderful subject. And if you use this subject, if you understand, I'll beg you, I'll ask you, listen carefully. This subject, it will cause you to have what is missing in your life. This subject will take you to where you want to go. Now, as we cover this subject, this subject has power to change things so long as if a man chooses to be a doer of the word. In this practical, in this practical, as we're going to share this afternoon, and I know God is preparing you, and God is, is, is planning to take you to other ends, but he needs you to be prepared. You can't do many things until you are prepared. You can't. Even if you want to demolish and, and, and throw big cities down or defeat the giants like Goliath, you need a time of preparation. So the word we are going to do to study today, the subject I've called the subject transferring and depositing by the word of God or with the word of God. Transferring and depositing mm, with the word of God. Using the word of God to transfer anything you want and deposit it where you want. Transferring, that's a subject, very wonderful subject. And it causes, it works with faith. And faith does all the work. You will be just doing all, some few things which I have put here. So, <coughs> pardon me. So this afternoon, we are looking at transferring and depositing with the word of God. The word of God has power. The Bible says the word of God is, is, is powerful. The word of God is, is some, some verses here, they say the word of God is like a fire. The word of God is like a, a sword. So, but now I'm talking about transferring. The word of God has ability to transfer something to you. Yes, you got me right. I say the word of God has the ability to transfer something from where it is. And it brings it to you. Can be material, can be spiritual, can be healing, can be the word of God has the power to transfer. And I have used this and I have tried this and I have seen how it works. And if you bear with me and listen carefully, I will give you at least a few things I have used. I have tried the word and it has done what I'm teaching today. I am teaching you that transferring, how to transfer and deposit using the word of God. And that's why. Now let us show, is there something like that? Is there anything like in the Bible whereby God says you transfer, transferring things, transferring power, transferring things in the Bible, it is rampant, it's, it's dominant in here. In the Bible here, there's so many ways, so many occasions, so many God demonstrates how he transfers power, miraculously, how he transfers healing, how he, and he deposits it to that person who has been seeking for it. 
looking and looking. So what we need is how to know and understand and learn and practice how do I make a transfer and how do I sustain, I sustain what has been deposited in my life. Oh, how do I call those things which are very far using the word of God and deposit them into my life? That's what you are looking for. And that's what I'm going to help you tonight to do. And now let us look at this. I know everywhere. Now we are in the modern times whereby word transferring is common. You, can, you have had a lot of time, but people say mobile transfer, they have seen money transfer, online transfer, uh, you've bank transfer. There's a lot of things which are happening. And in the spiritual realm, there's also transferring of things. But we do it through this device. This is the device which transfer things to you. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. You need the healing. If you learn how to use it, this device, you're going to transfer healing from where it is and deposit it where you need it. And that's why you've heard about health transfer, wealth transfer, money transfer, uh, power transfer with the politicians. They, they take it from, from this person to another. So even in the spiritual realm, the word of God has been used to transfer things. Now let us look at it. Let's look at first here. Uh, if something like that exists. Here. And let us look at this. How to transfer the spirit. Even the spirit can be transferred. You can make a. God has been transferring things. Spiritually. But now once Jesus Christ left us. And he gave us his spirit. He, we can do. We can make a transfer. You know when the Bible says. You know the religious prayer. Which we normally read. Uh, pray. Our Father who is in heaven, allow be the name, let your kingdom come, oh, let your will be done as in heaven, let it be done on the earth. So when, the, which means we can make the will of God to be done on this planet. We can cause a transfer from heaven because the will of God is his word. Let your will be done as it is in heaven, let it also be done on earth. So the word of God, he says that it is stable in heaven. It is established. The word of God says there is a healing everywhere. So you can transfer that healing from there and deposit it on this earth. So using the word of God. It's not, you, for people who are not informed, who are not transformed, or who don't have the wisdom and the knowledge of God, it is very hard to understand. You're going to take these few simple steps, which I will tell you. But now let us first read from Numbers. We're going to read from Numbers chapter number 11. And I will show you something here, uh, which will help you. We're going to build on that as we are doing this subject. I welcome you to the Believer's Community Call of Faith. And I'm calling you to start using your faith so that uh, a manifestation of the blessing and of the plan of God. You know, God has a plan for you, as we say in, in Jeremiah, that he has a plan for you. Don't think that he, his plan is just for you to eat and live until you die. No, God has a plan for you, and he wants that plan to be executed, and he wants that plan to benefit many people. Now let us go in the book of Numbers, and I will show you something here from the book of Numbers. We're going to read here, Numbers chapter number... Numbers chapter number 11. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, I welcome you. My name is Vincent, and we thank God for this day. We thank God for this day. We thank God for this day. Oh, this good Bible is, is slowing and opening, and we thank God for this day. Numbers chapter number 11, I'm there. Numbers chapter number 11, we're going to look at something here. I want you to look, to see that the transfer I'm talking about can happen in everywhere. Numbers chapter number 11, if you come here to verse number 16, I'll show you something. So the Lord said to Moses, gather to me 70 men of, of the elders of Israel, whom you know to be the elders of the people and the officers over them. Bring them to the tabernacle of meeting that they may stand there with you. 
Then I will come down and talk with you there. I will take of the spirit that is upon you, and I will put I will put the same upon them, and they shall bear the burden of the people with you, that they may not bear that you may not bear it yourself alone. So here Moses was carrying a lot of responsibility. I'm showing you that God can do things which you don't understand. How do I transfer a spirit? So what God did, God called Moses. He was carrying all this responsibility alone. And the, it, the burden was too much for him. He called him and told him, select some men. Bring them in the, in the meeting with me. And I'm going to speak to you in that meeting. And I'm going to call to cause, I'm going to take the spirit which is on you and deposit it, transfer it from you, not all of it. I'm going to take a portion. What God did, He did, He took the spirit. Some, we can't say some of the spirit, but He did, He took some of the anointing which was on Moses and He deposited it. He transferred it from, from Him and He deposited it up. Upon all the men who were there. Was it possible? It was possible. Because God said they will also prophesy. And men indeed, when God did that, they started prophesying. And even you can read more. You find that Joshua, when there was one man who did not attend, come to the meeting, but he was among those who were listed to receive the deposit of the Holy Spirit. So, of the Spirit, that by then they never called him the Holy Spirit, but of that Spirit which was on Moses. So, wh what they did, those men did not come to the meeting, but when God did a transfer of that power, the anointing, it went and it was deposited among everyone who was listed onto that meeting. So, and they started prophesying. This one who were in the meeting, they started prophesying. And even the other one who never came into the meeting, they started prophesying. Joshua came running to Moses and said, Moses, Moses, yeah, I have seen some other men there. They are prophesying. He, and Moses said, is it because you are zealous of me and you think we are losing the government? He told them, no, leave them to prophesy. So, uh, uh, the transfer of God is power, God is healing, God is prosperity, God is understanding, God is wisdom, God is knowledge. It can happen. It can happen even up to this time. You can transfer your healing and deposit it in your body. I will tell you what you need to do. Simple. You can transfer prosperity from God and deposit it in your life. You can transfer things which you don't even think. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is possible. It is possible. Now, let, let's look at this. this. It requires two elements, as I have said on this note. So, if we are to transfer, it requires two elements. And I want you to put this down. I want you to put this down because it will help you. It has helped me. It has worked. In, whether it's healing, whether it's in need of money, whether it's need of new shirt, whether it's need of new car, it has worked for me. And I'm using it. And I'm using it even to progress my ministry. I am using this principle. It requires two principles. Call them principles. Call them elements. I call them element. This is the ingredient. Two things you need if you are to learn and start transferring power, transferring healing, transferring material from the kingdom of God to you and depositing it into your life. This is what you need. Meditation and the confession of the word. Because I told you how to transfer, how to deposit using the word of God. What do you have? This is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. And this is where we become lazy. Because it doesn't make sense to some people. You know, you know the things of God don't make sense. For example, God is pulling at us, we, who we, who the, 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 the best, the thing, the people who not, who are not made useful like that to many people and God using us. God picking you from those who are despised and empowering them. So the, the things of God don't make understanding. And uh, up to now, if you are trying to use your intellectual understanding, you will not understand how God works. 
You will miss out on healing. You will miss out on prosperity. You will miss out on many good things, favor and blessing. Because these things are spiritual. And the way they are done, the, uh, his understanding is beyond our understanding. His knowledge and his wisdom is above all our wisdom. So the way God does things is unique. Just take that. The way God does things is unique. It's unique, I'm telling you. So now, uh, uh, two things I want you to practice, to start practicing. And this is a godly thing. Meditation on the word of God. Confession of the word of God. Meditating on the word of God confessing the word of God. Listen to me. Listen to me. Meditate. You have, do you need to transfer some, some things which you desire in your life, deposit them in your life? These are the two things you need to do first because they will lead you to this. Meditation upon the word of God, uh, daily meditation, Unceasing meditation. Of, I don't. I'm not talking about the religious one where people Buddhist they sit like this and they, no meditating on the word of God. You get the word of God concerning that matter. You get the word of God concerning that healing. You get the word of God concerning that amount of 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 finances you need. You get the word of God concerning that, that child, that teenager, that baby. You get the word of God. You meditate on that word of God. What you need to happen. What do you need to have? If you see that your children are not blessed and you see the way they are behaving, get the word of God. The word is there. It says, my children, the children, me and the children you have given me are for miracles, are signs and wonder. If you see that your children are not living signs and wonder and you want them to leave, get that word. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how to transfer and deposit. Get that word. Meditate upon it. When you meditate upon it, start confessing. Confession. Confession. The first book I read and understood, which I, before I, I never knew about confession. And I never knew. Later on, when, 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 until I visited someone, found a book was on the floor, and it was written by a man called Charles Caps. The, the book was called Faith and Confession. Faith and Confession. What causing the things. I read that book, and this man said the things no pastor has ever taught me. He read things which you cannot directly find them. He wrote things which you cannot directly find them in the Bible, but they are there. So he said, this confession of the word of God, daily confessing it. And now I know why some religion, they have even beads. You know, they have beads, uh, they have beads, uh, the Catholics and the, I think the Muslims, they have beads. They use those beads to keep them, to, to help assist them to keep confessing whatever they're confessing, whatever they are meditating on. They speak, they speak, they speak. What I have a friend of mine, he's a Catholic, he's a very strange, staunch Catholic. He has a rosary. And I asked him, what is a rosary? And they told me the rosary helps him to, to pray a prayer, a, a, a prayer, it's a written prayer, a number of times, meditating on the word which is speaking. So, God wants us to meditate on the word. Why? Because that's the only way we can transfer what is in that word and deposit it where we want it to be. <laughs> okay. Now I just want you to, to understand to listen to this carefully. Take your time, listen to this message very, very carefully. The two things you need is meditation and the confession. So once you have meditated upon this word, but for example, we're going to bring the word that I, I, I'm not going to use by his stripes, if we are healed. Let me also diversify my faith. Let's talk about now the prospering word, prosperity. Look also, brethren, I pray that you may prosper in all things, have, uh, have good health, even as your soul are prosperous. Now you want to, if you want to transfer 
some of the elements, some of the promises, some of the words which are in that scripture. You are going to need, you're going to need to meditate upon that word. Meditate upon the word. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. We shouldn't forget the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he was rich, yet for our sake he became poor, that we through his poverty we might be rich. Get that word. Now I said I'm going. I'm not going to talk much or, or more on the healing. I know everyone wants the healing, healing, healing. Even those who are not sick, that be, but because they are lacking some things, you are lacking finances. You feel sick. And that is true. You can feel sick because you are lacking things. So that, that I'm saying that today I'm going to use the example concerning your progress, concerning your, your abundance and your provision. Now, look, look, look at this. Uh, you get two elements I have mentioned. If you want to learn how to transfer and deposit in your life a promise in the Bible, you're going to do two things. You have to learn or make a way, pro, make a provision for you to meditate upon the word of God. You have devices, write the word of God, speak it to your soul, record it to your device, listen to that word. The second thing you're going to do, confess that word. You have to confess loudly. You have to confess loudly that the blessing of the Lord is upon me, the blessing which makes people rich, the blessing where God has, that is no sorrow, it is written, is the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow to it. It is written, the blessing of the Lord God makes rich and adds no sorrow to it. You confess that word. This thing works. I don't care how you're going to listen, to how you're going to take this message, but I'm giving you things which are working. Whether this is the only way we can transfer and deposit what we need by the word of God. This is the only thing. You're going to look and say, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Let's talk about the business. Let's talk about those who are doing businesses. You can transfer the power of God and bless and infuse it and deposit it in your business. If you get that word, for example, Psalms number one, blessed is the man who does not sit in the council of the ungodly, who does not walk. Listen, let, let me read it for you quickly and I, I, I'll go back to what I'm teaching. It says, you get this word. I say, this, the word, it is written, you are the blessed man. I know I'm teaching you how to do it. You are the blessed man. You wake up, speak to that business and say, it is written, blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the seat and in the, in the stand of, in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. In his law, he meditates day and night. This man will be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. And he says, his leaves will never wither this tree. And you are a tree, you are a tree of life. This tree, the tree, he will never with that but it will bear fruit in his season and you can speak to your business and say you were a tree you will never wither your leaves you're speaking now to your to your to your business that you must bear fruit in his season and this bible says it whatever he does shall prosper get that word i'm teaching you how to make a transfer and deposit what do you want to deposit in your life or in your environment or in your neighborhood using the word of god so you meditate upon that word meditating upon that word then the next thing you are going to confess it Confess, you will have to learn to confess that I am the blessed man spoken about and whatever I do, it prospers. I, I do this. I speak to my ministry. We, we went through, we went through turmoil. We went through hard time as a ministry. But what I did it was to speak. Speak, I speak, whatever I do, I am the blessed man. Whatever I do, it prospers. Whatever I do, my business cannot die. My ministry cannot die. My neighborhood cannot suffer, cannot be violent. Uh, what I, whatever I do has to prosper. Whatever I do has to prosper. When I invest money in the lands, when I invest money in properties, and when they say, oh, properties are, are, are this and this, or oh, investment is going down, oh, I, oh, I get the word of God, and I make a trust 
transfer from heaven and I deposit it where I want it to be deposited. Two things. I get the word of God, meditate upon it, meditate upon it, change it in every angle, make it part of you, and then confess it. I am the man, I am the blessed man, I am the blessed man. Christ, Christ became poor, that I through his poverty I might be rich. Christ became poor, that I, if, if you need abundance, you're going to need that word. You transfer from heaven abundance. Because there is a lot of abundance in heaven, you're going to transfer that abundance. You're going to say, if you need supply, and that's why my, most of my friends don't understand. They don't understand when I tell them that all of mine is submit. Because it is written, I have meditated on that scripture. I have meditated and I confess it. I confess it. I confess that Christ has supplied. God has supplied all of my needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. God has supplied. God has supplied all of my needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. Doing that and confessing it out, I am transferring. And when I make that transfer, I am depositing it where I want it to stay. And once I have done that, the manifestation because when you get the word of god and meditate upon it you are you are and and confessing you know this is what meditation and confession does it leads you to faith your faith grows your faith increases i'm calling you to faith remember this program is called the believers community call of faith i'm calling you i am calling you to start using your faith because if you don't use your faith for greater things, if you don't use faith for, well, you, you are not ready to use your faith to do those impossible things which you think they are impossible, then your faith is useless. You are not, you are not, you are having a resource, a tool which you are, it is dormant. And it will, one day it will rush away and maybe it will become useless. Now I'm telling you and I'm teaching you as I'm reminding yourself, I'm, I'm, I'm reminding myself, I'm reminding you also to use this principle. Now we are looking at the subject, what did we say? We're looking at the subject, how transferring and depositing using the word of God or using the word of God or by the word of God. And I've shown you something, two things. The two principles, the two elements which are involved if you are to transfer whether healing whether abundance whether power whether with the money two things get the scripture concerning that matter they will say oh you have confessed that and it's not working don't worry about that what do you do meditate upon the scripture confess the scripture you are causing faith faith will come faith is the element Without faith, it is impossible to praise God. Faith is that element which you are looking, which causes this, or I call it a substance. Faith is the substance which makes, which God uses to cause a manifestation of that thing which you are looking for. So once you have meditated upon the word of God, confessed the word of God, the substance which is faith comes, huh? The, the substance, the material, you can't see it. This, the, the, I don't care whether it has taken long, whether it has taken how much time, it will come. Because God looks after his word. She, uh, you, you just continue to draw, draw. By faith, we draw it, to, we draw it, call, calling it, we are calling it, or we are drawing it closer to us. Get the word of God. Uh, concerning that child, concerning that healing, concerning that business, concerning that money, concerning that marriage, concerning you don't talk about leave alone the people who talk against things and because they have not tried anything and that's why they think everything can fail. Once you involve in the power of this device, this this device can do things which you don't even know. God is able to make all the grace abound towards us. God can do exceedingly and abundantly above. It is supernatural. Above than all you think. You all you just learn how you just need to do is to learn how do I transfer even money. Oh yes. You know what? 
even money i have done it i have transferred money from where it is and i have deposited it into my life i have transferred health healing from where it is when i was in pain when i was i i, I am going through all those kind of pain i transfer i can call the the, the the healing and deposit it in my body what do we do we meditate on the word of god we start confessing at a, when you look at it human level human brain it will not make any it will not make sense but this is supernatural these things are divine these things are, are spiritual and therefore they are designed by those who are spiritual oh, hallelujah oh thank you holy spirit they are spiritual now okay so we confess the word of god then faith will provide the substance that's what i say you meditate upon the word of god Spit it out, speak it out, confess it out, confess it out. That's why in my church, when there was a, they, I, I sensed that there was a spirit of inferiority, low self-esteem, I got the word of God, twist, uh, bring it together uh, in a flavor, in a format which is easy, make people confess it. When they confess it, when they confess it, they will start thinking about it, meditating about it. How can I st still think I'm low when I have said Christ has lifted, uh, elevated me? Now I'm sitting with the question high above. How will I carry a mind which is crazy, which is renew not renewed, when I have just confessed that I have a renewed mind? The Bible says by renewing of your mind. So once we speak these words, we are called Causing a drawing, or we are drawing what it carries, the substance in these words, and a manifestation comes. And then all of a sudden, people start feeling better. People start feeling confident in themselves. Low self esteem is no more. Low self esteem goes away. And then people start feeling better. This is the, what it does. This is how it works. Whether you want money, whether you want power, whether you want politi or a politician, whether you're a businessman, if you are a born again Christian, there is no any other way. The only way is to do all the things, those few things, and the only way to get everything you need in your life from clothes, shoes, shoes, lessons a comb wig weaves all the things this is the way you get a word of god concerning that provision and meditate upon it this is the way you're going to draw you are going to make a transfer from the heavenly storehouse and then deposit in your life praise the living god now let us look at this i'm telling you that god it can come physically it can come spiritually i have shown you now let's look at the numbers we have read numbers how god transferred the spirit from moses and the spirit came and it was saturated you can as a pastor i can confess wealthy i can confess healing i can call upon progress upon my congregation I can speak them into higher self-esteem. I can speak them. You, I just need to get a scripture and meditate upon it and confess it. When I confess it, the substance, which is faith, it starts to be formed. And once it's formed, then a manifestation of what I desire. Unless you don't have any desires. But the Bible says uh, uh, you, you have to, to, if you believe in the Lord and you celebrate in the Lord and you trust in him, you have to at least to have a desire. If you don't have a desire, then God will not fulfill your desires. <laughs> you can, unless you are not rejoicing in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. God knows that we have, you have desire. I have desire. You have a desire as a mother, as a father, you have a desire to bring your children. As a minister, as a, as a, as a pastor, I have a desire for my congregation to know the word of God, walk in this power, walk in this my, in the miracle signs and wonder. I have a desire, grow, grow my ministry, grow, grow my neighborhood, transform, impact my neighborhood. That I have a desire, I have a desire, disciple the people to learn, to learn the word of God, trust in it. And God, when I do what God does, what God wants me to do, he will grant me the desires of my heart. You have to have a desire. 
what is happens in the churches and people are not seeing God working their lives because they don't have any desire. And that's why they can't even delight in the Lord. You tell people, praise the Lord, worship him, be cheerful, thank him, praise him. They don't have a desire. And if a man has a desire and he knows that this is the man who supplies the my desire, he will do everything. And that's what I'm talking about. And if we learn, if a church learns the mystery of confessing the word of God, the mystery of getting the word of God, meditate upon it, meditate upon it. The, if we learn that, all our desires are going to come to pass. Godly desires, that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about your flesh, desires of the flesh. Godly desire. These things I'm teaching, they are for those who have accepted Jesus Christ. But some people are shying away. Some people, some people, are, uh, they, don't, they don't think, they are, they're just sidelining with non-believers, thinking it doesn't work. They think it works. I'm telling you, it works. It works. It works. Each time I've tried it, it has delivered. Each time, it is predictable. I can predict what I'm going to get. I can predict it. If I need something, I just go in here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what, how long it takes. It doesn't matter. But I can predict it. For God will perform His word. He desire. I told you I have desire. Now I'm desiring at, the, at this time we, we are desiring our ministry where the ministry is. We are desiring to, desiring to buy that property. It's a godly desire. And the man said, uh, 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 the man and all those people who said, who looked into it, the seller and uh, all the price we need, plus all those things, uh, the taxes have, have been given out. We are looking at one million pound, one, one point five million pound. That's our desire. What do we do? We, what are we going to do? We're going to get a word which says silver and gold belongs to him. All the money in heaven and on earth, all the material belongs to him. All things are given to us. All things are for us. We get a desire. We get that word. We confess that word. We confess that word. We confess that word. What do we do? Faith comes. And when faith comes, we are going to take action. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to sow seeds. Why? Because we, without sowing the seeds, we can't get enough harvest. What are we going to do? We want one million point five. Yes, in pounds, in British pound. That's that's nothing money to God. There's nothing money in the spiritual realm. It's everywhere. It's, that's a little. That's a penny for what? Because we want to start with that and then progress. So what are we going to do? Get the word. We'll see what the word tells us about that, and then we are going to confess it. Meditate upon it. Confess it. We confess it. And faith is going to come. Everyone will be empowered when time comes to take action. Because action is the part of it. You meditate upon the word. You confess it. Faith comes. When faith comes, do the action. Listen to this. This is the sequence. Get the word of God. Meditate upon it. Confess it. Faith will come. When faith comes, do the action. When faith comes, do the action which is required in that state. For us, we want 1.5 million pounds. What do we do? We get the scriptures. We get the scriptures. We are confessing the scriptures. Meditating on the, on the scriptures. Confessing the scriptures. Now, when everyone is on board and our faith is, is really is reached that level, what do we do? We act upon the faith. We sow our seeds. When we sow our seeds, what are we going to do? We're going to get money, some money, give it away. When we give it away, we sow it in another ministry. When we sow it in another ministry, they have their needs also. Then we wait for our harvest. We still confess. That means we are transferring. The transfer process takes some time. The transfer, when you are transferring something in the, in the spiritual realm, it takes some time. That's why you have to keep hold. The Bible says, hold on to your faith. You hold on to your faith. You hold on to your faith for that healing. You hold on to your faith. And then it comes to pass. Hallelujah. Now let me show you something. Jesus Christ turned the water. Everyone knows. Now. No, no. What about we being transferred from the kingdom? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Colossians chapter number one. Colossians, here in Colossians chapter number one, the Lord, the Bible says, we were also transferred. Now look, yes, that's what it says. So the thing of transfer, you can transfer things from another realm and deposit them in another realm. You can, you, it is possible. Here, let, let me read for you. Because even you, you were just transferred. This is what God did. 
and this is what that's what my Bible tells me. I was transferred. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. In in Colossians chapter number chapter number one here. Let's let's look. This is the same method you are going to use. The thing of transferring and depositing is possible. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, thank you, Ori Bayandeli Asko Ribri. Lambale dadosh, kitala dadosh, andali. Ambro, cool. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You brought this to my attention. Me too. I was transferred. You too. Oh, book of Colossians. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, somewhere here. These are fine papers. Yeah, book of Colossians, chapter number one. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Chapter number one, and let's start from verse number what? Verse number nine. I'm showing you that you, wherever, where you are in the, in the Christianity, in the faith, whether you're born again, whether you're Baptist, whether you're Presbyterian, whether you're, but those are no, evangelical, whether you are what? You were transferred from the kingdom, from one kingdom, deposited into another kingdom. Look at this. For this reason, Colossians chapter number one, verse number nine. For this reason, we also, since the day we had it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge. Be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. These are spiritual things. Spiritual understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, being fruitful in every good work. Being fruitful, get a spiritual understanding. The next thing you are going to be fruitful, fruitful in every good work, and that and increasing. Uh, I talked about increasing, increasing is God's purpose. God's purpose for every believer is to increase. All right, let's look at this. Increasing in all knowledge of God, strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and long suffering with the joy. Number 12, Colossians chapter number 1, verse number 12, it says, Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance. We've been qualified. I told you when we got saved, we were qualified. We were qualified. So look at this. It says, uh, being qualified to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light, he has transferred us from the power of darkness and conveyed or deposited and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of his love. You see, we then we, but through the power of the word of God, the word of God, what God did through his word, he transferred us as many as they believed him to them. He gave them the power to become the children of God. When we, we, we will receive the Spirit of God, we, you cannot understand us because we are transferred. We are ambassadors, transferred from another kingdom to another kingdom. So it says here, we were transferred. So God made a transfer. He, he, he called us by his word. He called us by his word. And from the kingdom of the devil, the darkness, that's where you were pulled. And you were in transfer. Some people are still in transfer. In the, in the, until they are deposited. We are deposited into the kingdom of the beloved son. Now, look at this. I'm telling you that everything you need. In the book of John, chapter, the gospel, chapter, chapter 2, Mary comes to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was at the wedding. And Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ, comes to, the, to his son. This, that was Jesus Christ, the anointed one. And he comes. The wedding was going on. There's no wine. There was no wine. And the, the people say, Oh, when there is no wine, the, the party cannot be good. They, they, they were, but then they were, they were inspired by that content, that, uh, and the, the, the chemical in that wine, which brings joy to them. So they come to Jesus Christ. The Mary comes to Jesus Christ, and he says, uh, they have no wine. She just speaks the word, and they have no wine. They, she knows that Jesus Christ is the word. Jesus Christ is the word and all things are under his feet. By him all things were created. Whether water, whether seas, whether money. By him all things were created and were created for him. Jesus Christ said, woman, what does that have to do with me? My time has not come to pass. And the, the woman said to the servant, do whatever he says, do it. That's John chapter number, number, number two. Whatever he says, do it. So what they did, Jesus Christ, there was gallons of water there outside which they were used to use their, to wash their hands and wash the purification water was there what they did jesus told them fill them with water they filled i think six big big pots big gallons of water jesus christ 
did I, I immediately because Jesus Christ is the word power which I cannot tell you how it happened. He told them draw and take to the word to the master of the ceremony. Power. God was able. Jesus Christ was able to transfer the the wine, good wine from heaven. And deposited it <laughs> at that party. Deposited it and that was changed. Water was changed into wine. When they took the wine to the people who needed it, they tasted the wine and they said one was wonderful. It was the most uh, best wine they had ever tasted. And uh, some people have, have tried to quantify that wine and put a value on it. They said th that wine was the best wine. And some people say uh, uh, that because it was, it was the best wine and because it was much and people had already been drinking the the leftover of that wine the bride maybe the people it was jesus's gift to the to the bridegroom and the bride and they gave them a bottle of that wine it was much they might have sold which was which remained now jesus christ transferred Huh? By the word, by the word, because he is the word, he transferred the power. The power just came, shoop, change the change the water. Uh, that one is, does. Can you? Can you do? Can you use common sense and get that? You can't. Common sense is not is not involved in that. He he was full of the word. Uh, he himself was the word. And I think I know Jesus Christ was meditating upon the word every day. Whatever my father does in heaven, I do. That means the, the word of God is established in heaven. Jesus Christ was establishing it on this planet. He, might, he, he was. Because one day he said man he does not live with bread and water. But, he, he, but bread, but every word which comes from God. So Jesus Christ was full of the word. What he did when the situation came, he just made a transfer from heaven and he deposited. Boom! And oh, and the wine, and the wine came, and the wine came. Those who wanted wine came. Look at this. Another experience is in Matthew chapter number seventeen. When you look at Matthew number seventeen, there is a there is a. Let's look at Matthew chapter number seventeen. Jesus Christ need uh, needed money. Matthew chapter number seventeen, and I'm, I'm going to show you something here. Matthew chapter number seventeen. Let's go to verse number twenty-seven. Matthew seventeen. I'm telling you, even money can, you can use the word of God and transfer money or wealth or prosperity and deposit it where I want it to be. You can use the word of God. You transfer money from wealth from where it is, deposit it in your life, deposit it in our ministry. We why, why do we need to change things? We need to change this desolate city into a garden of Eden. We need to change the desolate, the wilderness into a treasure to build a beautiful cities. And God, oh, God is not about, Jesus Christ is about to come. Yes, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Jesus Christ is what? Is coming soon. What does it have to do with you if you do things which he told you? And when he comes, he will just say, thank you for doing it. But if it, uh, whether it comes tomorrow, whether it comes the next day, whether it comes next year, we, we just need to do the work which we are called here. We just need to have all, every resource we need to transfer every resource we need to extend the gospel. Use every resource we need. And if we need more, let us transfer more, deposit it in our midst, circulate it, Go, go, preach the gospel to every corner of the world with demonstrating signs and wonder and, and miracle signs and wonder and people get saved and then Jesus Christ comes back. We are delaying ourselves. And where if we are to do that work, resources are involved, finances are involved, money is involved, power is involved, equipments are involved, above all things, money is involved. Man is what is involved. <laughs> we cannot send the gospel to the ends of the earth to, to preach the gospel to every creature. We are 7.5 billion people on this planet. Only two and a half billion. Those, they are the only people who have heard about Jesus Christ, who know him about, who know him. The rest of the people, they, 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 it's like they have never heard about Jesus Christ. We are 7.5 billion people on this planet, on this earth. And only 2 billion, 2 billion and something. We are the believers, the Christians. 
So we need to send the gospel to the other five. Do you think with that, if we don't have finances, will we be able to influence the five billion people? We need, in the body of Christ, we need to transfer the resources. Ooh, the resources from heaven and then deposit them in our midst, use them to extend the gospel. By then, Jesus Christ will come quicker. He will come. Look at here. Matthew chapter number what? Number tw- number 17. I'm telling you, I'm talking to you that w- you can use the word of God even to transfer money. Here, here in verse number chapter number 17. Chapter number 17, Matthew chapter number 17, 26, 27. This is what's what I'm looking for. 27 is what I'm looking for. Now I'll start from 25. When they had come to Capernaum, those who received the temple tax, they came to Jesus, they came to Peter and they said, Does your teacher, does your master pay the tax? And then and then he, Peter said, Yes, he does. And then when he had come into the house, the Jesus Christ anticipated him. He, he expected what Peter was going to say. And he, he said, What do you think? Simon Peter, from whom do the kings of the earth take customs and taxes? From their sons or from their the strangers? And Peter said to him, from strangers. That Jesus said to him, then the sons are what? The sons are free. Nevertheless, let us we, let, lest we offend them, go into the sea. Jesus Christ is releasing the word. Transfer your healing. You can transfer your power. You can transfer everything you need. You can bring it closer. You can bring it closer. You can bring it closer. Praise the living God. Using the word of God. Now, look. If you need money, get the word of God. Get the word of God. Get the word of God. Meditate upon it. Meditate upon it. Meditate upon it. Then confess it. After you confess, do the action. Here the action was, Peter went to the sea. And what he did, he cast a hook into the sea, into the water. A fish came. He opened the mouth of the, wo- the fish. Money was there, and Peter paid. Isn't that a transfer? He transferred and deposited his need, and the need was paid. Look at that. When you go to Mark chapter number 5, you find a woman, a woman of blood issue. The woman, this woman had toiled. The Bible says this woman in, in Mark chapter number 5, she had spent all the money she had, and she was not what? She was not getting healed. She was anemic. She was losing blood every day for some good number of years, about 12 years. She was losing. She had lost, sold her property, sold her cars, sold everything, sold her land to what? To pay the doctors. And I'm telling you that you can transfer healing from there, deposit it in your body. Oh, she so this woman hears about Jesus Christ. She heard about what? Jesus Christ. The Bible says she heard about him. She praised fire. What did she do? She, she heard about what she had. I don't know what she heard about him. But the Bible says she heard about to him healing uh, people. Whether she heard about that he had power to heal. But she heard the word. When she heard the word, she meditated upon the word. When, what, came, what came next? Faith came. But she also confessed. The Bible says, for she said, if I touch his garment, if I touch his garment, I shall be healed. That's what I told you. Uh, when I speak to myself and I say, by his stripes, I was healed. By his stripes, I was healed. It's the same. If I touch his garment, I shall be healed. But that's what I told you. That I, I wake up in the morning and say, Jesus Christ was made poor. That me through his poverty, I might be rich. The blessing of God is upon me. The blessing which has no sorrow. The blessing which makes rich. The blessing is upon me. Uh, she spoke the word. In doing this, she was transferring. She was bringing closer the desires, what she wanted. Until then, all of a sudden, when faith came, the substance was formed and she deposited that thing which she wanted. She went to Jesus Christ. She pushed. The Bible says she pressed in and pressed in and she touched Jesus Christ. When she touched Jesus Christ, the Bible says that Jesus Christ, the uh, uh, power came out. Ooh. She, uh, Jesus Christ had the virtue leaving him. And they said, who touched me? And all the people who never knew, the people who are in the flesh, people, these kind of people, they don't understand how they think, even this, what I'm teaching. They don't know how it works. 
And you don't know that a person can call money to come. And I have done it before. And I keep, I always do it. I can wake up and say, today I need money, money come. Because it's the same as when I need healing. I say, today I need healing. Healing in my body. And I confess the words concerning healing. It's the same. When you need, you have money needs, you do the same. Get the word of God, meditate upon it, meditate, don't, don't, don't shy away. It's the same formula. But the people just think that Christianity is only about healing. It's only about healing, the lame. So no, no, if you are not lame, why will you be calling healing for lame upon you? Why? You, if you are not sick, why? You just have to call, call what you need. It's the same way. Don't allow people to confuse you. Don't allow people to take you out of the blessing. The most prevailing and recurrent on and on need in the church is lack. Prospite, they, they are lacking. There are so many believers on this planet who are lacking more than even the non-believers. And, and what do we know is when we, we get sick, is that's when we, know we can transfer from the healing which is in God, we can transfer our healing into our lives. We can transfer the healing deposit in our lives. Yes, because that's the knowledge we have that God is healing is there and we can call it and it's ours. The same thing. All the prosperity, the resources we need for the ministry, the resources we need to build the centers, it is there for us. Money, silver, gold, whatever it is, copper, coin, whatever it is, it is there for us. There's a thousand cattle and a thousand hills there for him, but he does not eat them. They are for us. It is us to know how to transfer. That's what I'm teaching. That's what I'm teaching today. Oh, Shandaraba. You comprehend the she katara. Oh, respect. Help someone. Get the word of God concerning that need. You can see people who become pastor. I am behind with my rent. I am behind with my rent. I am behind with my taxes. I am behind with my bills. I have the debts are in our churches. Debts. And the Bible says we are the lenders. We must be the lenders. We must live as lenders. We must practice lending. We must be lenders. And we must stop borrowing. We must stop borrowing. You can't stop borrowing unless you have known the secret. How to draw enough into your, into your account. How to bring it. How to transfer it from the kingdom resources and deposit it. You do it by the word of God. Get the word of God. I am repeating these things because I want it to stick. I wa it has worked for me. It is working for my ministry. We were behind. We had a lot of deaths in my ministry because of COVID. COVID made many churches to suffer because most of the churches, they depend on the generous giving of, the, of their membership. This is true. Most of churches, they depend to pay their bills, to pay their taxes, to pay their properties. They depend on the generous giving of their sponsors, their partners, their members. And COVID, COVID shattered every man's business. Big businesses went down. Big business, people lost jobs. And even the church felt the impact. Some churches which had not saved the money, they felt the impact. What we did, we, what in our church, what I did, I got the word of God. When I got the word of God, I said, this is it. We confess the word of God applied. What do we do next? Faith came. What do next after faith has come? We do the action. What we did? We started sowing seeds. In the time when all the churches had no money, we took money from our church, giving it to other churches, to other ministry. And what happened? The heavens opened. We were fulfilling the scripture. It said, give and you shall be given. We, we, we drew. We made a transfer from the kingdom of heaven and then deposited and all our needs were met. And we, we, we paid everything we needed to pay. Now that's why I told you that even we know what to do. We want what? One million and a half in British pound. But what do we do? We get the word of God. We, that's what we do. We are confessing the word of God. Meditating upon the word of God. Confessing it. Faith is coming. What do we do after faith has come? Which is the substance. What do we do? We get the harvest. We get... We just going to get some a big piece of money, give it away. Why? Because we are doing the word of God, give and shall be given. And after that, we continue confessing and receiving, confessing and receiving. For for she said, 
If I can only touch the garment, she never stopped until she touched the garment. And when she touched the garment, the power virtue came. Uh, no one, this virtue was colorless. No man saw it. No one can say, oh, I saw the virtue. No, even Peter said, oh, master, you are saying that the people, you see many people are trading around, they are pressing on you, and you are saying, who touched me? Jesus Christ said, I have lost a substance. Someone has taken something from me. Someone has made a transfer. I have had a transfer of power being, to, being, getting out of me, virtue, and being deposited into someone. And the woman came. And she said, yes, I have that, that one has happened. A transaction has happened. You get the word of God. I'm repeating the thing. Meditation and the confession is lacking and is missing in our most of our churches. Most of our churches, not every church. But in even the personal life. People have not set up their st a system or a plan where they are going to meditate on the word of God and confess it. When you do this, this is how you do the transfer and deposit it. And deposit what you want in your life using the word of God. You see, that's how Jesus Christ just called water wine to come into that water. Boom. A woman just touched Jesus Christ. Boom. What, what, what about in John chapter 6? John chapter 6, they needed bread. Jesus Christ was preaching and preaching and preaching. 5,000 men were seated there. They were, they were in the wilderness. Now Jesus Christ said, give them bread to eat. And they say, we don't have no bread. But the Bible says, for he knew, he told Philip, feed them, he knew what he was going to do. Jesus Christ knew. If you read, oh, John chapter 6, let me show you. John chapter 6, he knew. He knew. That's what, that's uh, why I like that verse. There's uh, that word, he knew. He knew what he was going to do. Now, look at this. Now, look at this. After these things, John, John, John chapter 6. After these things, Jesus Christ went over the Sea of Galilee, which is the Sea of Tiberias. Then a great multitude followed him because they saw his signs, which he had performed on those who were diseased. And Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat with his disciples. Now the Passover feast of the Jews was near. Then the, Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming, to his to towards him he said to the philip where shall we buy bread that this may eat but this he said to test philip for he knew he himself knew what he would do jesus christ knew that if he needs to supply abundance he knew what he would do because you go read the gospel Go, go and read the gospel. I even, I even, uh, I read all the gospel. I recorded the videos of the gospel. Me reading the gospel. They are on my YouTube. You go to my YouTube. You get, you get me. You get me. They, they, they I read, I, I read them. I read, I read the gospels and I recorded them. I have at least four gospels. I read even some other books. The Revelation. I read them. You go, 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 be, be, be kind, visit my, my YouTube channel, and uh, like me, oh, subscribe to me, it's free, is it? After all, it's free. Share, share with someone, it's all free. But let, let's go back, let's go back. Uh, you, 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 you extending the gospel in that manner, that means you are working, you are working with me. You are working with me because there must be someone who sends someone. You are sending me, that means you are sending me. There must be a sender, and there must be those who are sent. We are sent by you and that's why people give, give uh, people come and give in the church they give money why to send they are sending someone not everyone will go to the ends of the earth to preach the gospel no but th there are those who are going to send the senders and there are those who are going to be sent so in the way if you just send a link to someone you are a sender you are sender you are helping you are helping it to happen praise the living god and that, that's why i'm teaching the, the community the community of believers to 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 start working working by faith and the, activating the faith in their lives that's why i call the program the believers community call for faith praise the living god call of faith now look look at this so now look at this number four number five philip answered jesus christ and said oh number seven Philip answered Jesus Christ and said, 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may have 
a little. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon, Peter's brother, said to him, this, There is a lad here who has five berry robes and two small fish, but what are they among so many? But the point is, Jesus Christ himself knew what he was going to do. That is verse number 6, John chapter number 6, verse number 6. He himself knew that when I need abundance, what do I do? 5,000 men without counting children and women were seated before Jesus Christ. And the time come, he has to give them a meal. He has to give them a meal. What does he do? He calls, he calls a spiritual transfer. He calls the word of God. Because God, I think Jesus Christ knew God can supply all his needs according to his riches in heaven through Christ Jesus. Now Jesus Christ is going to supply to him so through him so. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Shambre Kalayadas. That's a revelation. Maseke Brodeas. Jesus Christ. And God, the God is able. What, what does it say? God shall supply, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ is calling unto God to supply according to his riches in glory through himself. He just told the people, let them sit. There there's a lad brought some fish and some bread. Jesus Christ tells the people, let them sit, causing a transfer. Now, he, 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 the Bible says he prayed. That means he confessed the word. What was in him? Thanksgiving was in him. He prayed loudly. He said, Father, I thank you. And he blessed the bread. When he prayed and he gave thanks, because thanksgiving is a, a, is a, is a call for more. It's a call for multiplication. Jesus Christ gave thanks. When he gave thanks, what happened? He caused a transfer. And then bread and fish was deposited. And the people, 5,000 people ate. You know what? There was a seed. The boy brought in the seed, which is the fish. The little fish he had. Wow, how many? How many? One of his disciples, Andrew Simon Peter's brother. What did he say? He said, "There is a lad here who has who has five barley barley loaves and two fish." But what is it? What, what are they among so many? That's what Jesus. That's what Philip said. Philip. 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 There's a, his disciple Andrew. Andrew Simon Peter's brother. Yes, he said that ah, there is something. What Jesus said? He, he brought that boy's food. It was a seed. He did action. He did what was required. He, you know what? He blessed the Lord. He confessed the word. And he, a multiplication came. And when a multiplication came, everyone whose need was met. Everyone. People ate bread. And then I think about 12 baskets. Some good baskets were collected. Whether 7, whether 12. I think 12. 12 baskets were co collected on that day. Abundance and the supply and the harvest. And the boy took a harvest. And because of the seed, she's, I'm not going to go into much of that. But I'm telling you, you sow, sowing, sowing is important. I will, talk, I will teach it about one day. Anyway, after all, I'm teaching from my, from my lovely place. Who is going to, who is going to come and say, you, you stop teaching about that. But I will teach about giving. I will teach about sowing seeds. I sow where I live. It's about seed. Sow the seed. I, I am a sower. And I harvest my seeds. But now, even now, I'm sowing. I'm sowing seeds in you. Sowing is very important. If you are not, if you have been con uh, confused and deceived too about <laughs> the thing of, of sowing, which is everywhere in the Bible, oh my God, then just know that you are going to go through your assignment in a very, very, very complicated state. You are going to survive, but it will be like a man going through fire. But if you learn these principles, this, uh, in fact, sowing is one of the things we use to draw, to make a transfer from the kingdom of heaven. We make a transfer and devote and the deposit in, where, in our midst is sowing. This boy brought in bread. She sold the bread in Jesus' ministry. And there is way. You remember when Peter wanted toiling and toiling, and Peter never had anything to do. Uh, they worked all night. They did fishing all night in the storm, in the wind, in the waves, and they came out with no fish. Jesus Christ said, Peter, can I borrow your boat? Showing Peter sold his boat in Jesus. And then Jesus preached at someone is very one of the best summonies. He preached, and after preaching, he says, Now I have to pay you back. Give and you shall be given. He said, Peter, 
throw your net on that side and for a catch. What happened? Jesus Christ commanded Peter. Peter said, because of your word. You know what happened? Peter was reciting the word and he said, your word is able to draw. To allow to make a transfer. So what, what, what happened? Jesus Christ's word. You know what it happened? They made a transfer of fish. From wherever it is. From the all the Indian Ocean. Wherever. Fish just. Uh, and swimming. Swish, 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 swimming. Where did it end? It ended in Peter's net. Why? Because of the action of giving out the boat. And he saw the boat. And Peter. The Bible says it was too much fish. And the, Peter had to call two boats, other friends to come and help him with the harvest, with the catch, with the increase, with the abundance. And it, that's what happens. As I do it, I, I can't even shy away from telling people to give. I know it has worked for me. If it doesn't work for you, it's up to you. But it has worked for me. It's created a difference. I wasn't like this. I never had what I have. But all I have, it has come from sowing seeds and harvesting. Sowing seed, sowing seed, sowing seed. That's why I can say I have abundance. I have enough. All of my needs are met. All of your needs are met. Christ has supplied all my needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. All I need, he gave me the powerful tool, tool, which is his word. I meditate upon his word, confess his word. And when I confess, faith comes. Faith is the substance. There's the, I mix my, 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 the word I've had with the faith. And then what happens when I take action? I do such, some of the actions I do is like that. Preaching here, yeah? some of the actions is sowing seed. That's what I told you. Our church, we need 1.5 million pounds. And what we're going to do, get the word. Get the word. That's a way we can do a transfer and deposit. Get the word. We get that word. We confess the word of God. We meditate upon the word. What happens? Our faith grows. What happens? We get some money from the church treasury. What, what happens? We sow it in another ministry. Uh huh. And then we keep confessing. What happens? The next thing, God will touch you. God will touch her. God will touch him. God will touch her. God will touch other people. What happens? They will, God will cause them to come and stand with us and give us. And then we pay off our, our property. And that's how it works. And the same. That's the same. Even when I wanted to be in this house where I'm working now, what did I do? Got the money. I, I, I never had money. What, what did I do? What I had what I had, sold the seed. Me and my wife, we sold the seed. What we did is so I'm not okay. I'm not going to be anyway. Anyways, there's nothing to hide. There's nothing to hide. What we, what we did, we sold the seed. When we sold the seed, uh, miraculously, because this is God's power, I don't know how it works. God made a way. When He made a way where there was no way, all our paperwork went through, everything went through. We received the money, we paid. Praise the living God. Now, that's what I'm talking about. You can make a transfer and deposit it in your life to meet your need with the word of God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you that your eyes, the eyes of understanding will open. That when they open, you will learn how to make a transfer from the kingdom of heaven, deposit it in your life with the word of God. All right. But these things I've preached are for the believers. That's why this program is called the Believer's Community Call for Faith. The Believer's Community Call of Faith. The Believer's Community Call of Faith. I always say, I say, I welcome to the Believer's Community Call of Faith. I'm calling you to use your faith. I'm calling you. This program is a call of faith. It is a call. It's, I'm calling you to start using your faith. Meditate, read the word of God, meditate upon it, let it faith come. And once you have understood how it works, then you're going to live above. You are going to fulfill your, your promise. You are going to fulfill your, your, your purpose on this planet. Some people don't have purpose on this planet. Some people have, some people don't have. But if you have a purpose on this planet, you are going to read the word of God. It's a must. When you read the word of God as a must, meditate upon it, confess it. When you confess it, start believing it. Your faith comes. Start exercising faith. Faith without action is dead. Make add some actions, including some of the actions, including go and preach the word of God. Some of the actions, including sowing seeds. Some of the actions, if you are sick, standing up on to, and try to 
understand some of the actions doing what he never do to do some of the action he will be giving some of the action will be give forgiving your enemies forgiving some of the action will be increasing your life uh, you have to do an action now if you have done that you know what happens you get us you have deposited in your life what happens next you live in abundance you live in abundance don't forget and let no one confuse you let no one i'm not talking and after all you all of you are online viewers and i don't even know where you are but i'm teaching you that let no one deceive to you when it comes this is i'm just throwing in <laughs> i'm throwing in a bonus uh, the, the the broadcast has finished about the, the subject which we are doing we are doing which i was dealing with the transferring and depositing using the word of god but i'm throwing in a bonus because of what is going on on the internet on the instagram on the posting on what people the believers have become too lazy and biased in knowing what the word of god does the believers have become too i don't they have developed a very bad attitude towards giving towards money towards prosperity towards god's blessing they have developed this one i even speak it slowly they have developed a, a negative attitude which is not going to help them at all because with your negative attitude you cannot change the word of god if the word of God says a bless a financial blessing comes out of giving, there is no way you can talk about it. You will curse. You will scratch your back. You will do many posts. You will do many tweets. You will not change the truth. The prosperity, financial prosperity. This is a bonus. We have. I have finished the broadcast. Financial prosperity comes by giving, by sowing seeds. If you are still, uh, you are still captivated. I'm telling you, this is a bonus. I said I'm adding. This is a bonus for you. Uh, it's a bonus. It's a bonus. I have finished my subject. I'm telling you, people have been developed a shy, a, a negative attitude towards the provision of God, towards the supernatural, towards the miraculous giving, towards the, and that's why debts are piling in their lives. Debts and debts and debts and debts. Why? Because they want the preachers to shy away, to talk about giving, to talk, don't, preachers don't talk about money. Preachers don't talk about prosperity. Preachers don't talk about, don't talk about giving. Preachers don't talk about sowing. And you know what comes? You know what has happened? Because they want the preachers only to talk about sin and sin. And I'm telling you, sin again, it's like a sin is growing more in the church. Marriages are breaking more in the church. Be uh, yet even other, uh, those are the things they want the people to talk about. Praise the living God. And uh, I have studied things. They are, they are things which I don't, I, I just look and I say, when I hear preachers and the preachers say, hallelujah, it's up to you. But I'm telling you, you as an individual, learn, open the Bible and see what it says about financial prosperity. About prosperity. Pro prosperity is, cannot come because of fasting. Prosperity cannot come because of, 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 of even meditation. Prosperity cannot become out of what uh, night prayers. Prosperity does not come because of prosperity is a financial covenant. Some people in the world they go to demons and they sacrifice to demons to become rich. But we who have the Bible, we who have the word, we who have the constitution and the power of God in our hands, we know that prosperity comes after giving. Financial prosperity comes after sowing seed and giving. It's a sowing and reaping. You sow and harvest. That is, let's end there. Let's end there. Because I know, I know so many people in different churches, in different congregations who are going through lack and poverty and we are not meant to live in this lack. We are not meant to live in such lack and poverty as a church. Because God has so blessed us so much. God has given us a clear manual how to, to, to do things, how to do business. And he said everything we do must prosper. 
You see, but what? But the people have grasped the same anti. There is an, a, 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 I think, a demonic teaching. It's, uh, the, the teaching, uh, it's not the teaching, but it's inspired by the devil himself. He's he's talking that negative against many things in the church. Why not promoting many things in the church? He is and the people are, people are happy when things are talked about them. When marriage is changed, that marriage is now this and this. When when it's between uh, this everyone, people are happy on that. When they, they tell them that their children are free to say that uh, this is how I am, this is how I am, or if a girl says this, I'm a boy, if a boy says I'm a girl, the people are happy. Uh, and when you tell, <laughs> when you bring them the truth which is in the Bible, they <laughs> they oh, that's not, that's not where we're going today. Let us pray. You are sick in the name of Jesus, let us transfer power of healing into your body. But if you don't have Jesus Christ, let us transfer the forgiveness of God into your body right now. Into your spirit right now. Let us invite Jesus Christ to come into you. These words I've spoken are for those who believe in Jesus Christ only. They are for those exclusively, for those whose name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Book of life. Now then, I'm praying for you who want to believe in Jesus Christ. If you want to believe in Jesus Christ, and come into your life, change you, how, be a partaker of this kingdom's power, be a partaker of this kingdom's blessing, this is what you're going to say with me. Say with me, Jesus, this day, this time, I have heard how good you are. I have heard that you forgive sins. He forgives sins anyway. I'm telling you, he forgives sins. Now say, I have heard that you forgive sins. I come to you, this time, I repent all my sins. I ask you for forgiveness. And by faith, I receive the forgiveness. Now I pray, come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. And write my name in that book of the living. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Because I believe now. That you died and rose again. He died and rose again. I had not told you. He died and rose again. Just believe I've told you. I am the, I am the preacher. I preach to you. He died and rose again. Just say I believe now. That you died and rose again. For me. And I pray. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your knowledge. Fill me with your joy. Give me peace. I repented. And I'll receive a forgiveness. Let them be filled with the power of God. I pray in the name of Jesus. A blessing upon them in the name of Jesus. I pray. Now I'm praying for you who is sick. I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have heard your word. And your word transfers power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. According to the word of God, which I meditate upon, that Christ was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity, the chastisement of our peace was laid upon you, Jesus. By your stripes we are healed. I stand to call upon the healing into that person's life in the name of Jesus. And I speak to every disease in the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, be healed. I speak to those who were crooked in their bodies. The blood is, is malfunctioning. Kidneys are malfunctioning. Hearts are malfunctioning. Diabetes is causing the body to malfunction. I speak to you, be whole. In the name of Jesus, I commission healing, deposit healing in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, we thank you. Rambo, Shipre, Yale, Kazo, Brekala. Thank you, Lord, for the supernatural healing. Thank you, Lord, for the healing of the body, healing of the mind, healing of marriages, healing of finances. Ripaledo jimbre kesko ridaya mantalelo jilema shondeleba oliko jimbre ya nekaso. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Minister, your healing upon the people. Minister, healing. Minister, healing. Deposit, healing. Deposit, healing. Be deposited in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Father, I thank you. I glorify you. 
And I pray for that person who's struggling with understanding. They don't know who they are, men and women, who don't know whether they are men, whether they are women. People who don't know whether they, they don't know their future, they don't know their destiny, confused. I pray for the Spirit of God which gives understanding. Upon those believers, let them find their way. Let them discover their progress. Let them discover their purpose and their destiny. Grant a vision upon someone in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Father, I pray let every need be met. Supply, oh my God, supply according to your riches in glory. Let every need be met. You can do exceedingly abundantly in the name of Jesus. Father, remember every seed sown by the people. Remember and cause a harvest to come. I speak a harvest upon every good sower in the name of Jesus. I speak a harvest. I use this opportunity even to pray a harvest to come towards our church partners. A harvest come in the name of Jesus. The harvest come towards our faithful church members. A harvest come in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare that the enemy is defeated. Your hands are off our blessing. Hands off our, pro, our, our prosperity. Hands off our children. Hands off our homes. Hands off our marriages and our governments. In the name of Jesus. Hands off our neighborhood. We resist the devil. We submit to God. And the devil frees from us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Speak healing, speak prosperity, speak abundance, I speak increase, I speak joy, peace in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You've been watching the Believers Community Call of Faith. And I'm calling you to use your faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's been a wonderful day. We have looked at the subject, uh, de transferring and depositing using the word of God. Hallelujah. I can take this opportunity, these few seconds to welcome you to our ministry. We have, at the moment, we have, uh, 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 we, we congregate, our church is located in London, uh, on the, in the eastern side of London. Uh, our property is located in a, a, a city, a small city called, big city anyway, it's a big city called Barking. And then we are uh, uh, at Long Bridge Road. Uh, if you are putting in uh, Tom Tom by now, you can meet us by now in 2020. Uh, the year of our Lord 22, we are still there, located at 102 Long Bridge Road. Uh, and the, the address is RM11, R, no, no, is RM, uh, RM, uh, IG11, IG11, IG11-8SF, IG11-8SF, that's where we are. Uh, we have three services every Sunday. We have a Sunday service at uh, 8.30 and 11 o'clock. And from 11 o'clock, we have another service which starts at 2 p.m. It's a prophetic service and the prayers and intercession and it's a deliverance service. We have a service which I love. Oh, it's all the ghosts I love. I love that service. It's every Tuesday, every Tuesday at the church premises, every Tuesday in the after, in the in midday, we have, it's called the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost encounter and exchange. Therefore, we go into that service. We are charged by the particles of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we, have you ever prayed? Prayed in tongues for sixty for sixty minutes. We pray in tongues, prophesy, and we praise the Lord. And we give the, we we let the Holy Spirit circulate, and we we download wisdom. Praying in tongues is very wonderful. You speak mystery. You speak mysteries. Every Tuesday, we use 60 minutes and praying in tongues and prophesying. I have seen it. God is depositing a lot of wisdom and understanding and knowledge and insights and the ideas in our lives when we pray in tongues. We, one day, we will talk about praying in tongues. And I have seen God doing that. So we pray. Every Friday, we have a service there. We pray in the evening and we go into the night in prayer. Every Sunday, we are there. Tuesday, uh, well, Saturday, come and join us when we do evangelism, we evangelize in our community. We tell the people about Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, be part of us. If you have some friend in, in town, in London there, tell them. If you are living abroad in America, wherever, you have a friend who come by, tell them there is a church called the Great Commission. Those believers are located in this, in the in backing, and they and they there. Well, you can go even on our website. And even you can send me a text message. I will send you the, the, the details, the address. You continue, please. I ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook. It, it doesn't matter. 
it doesn't matter but i will remain me and i you will remain you and we're working together for god <laughs> and what we do we are extending the gospel the word of the truth which transforms the people god bless you i thank god who has made you to watch this believers community call of faith Thank you very much for watching. See you another day. And God bless you richly. All your needs are met. Live in abundance and good health. For God has done it in Jesus' name. Let's end up the broadcast. God bless you. And bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.